basically my Vard Rocks roost right here on this fence. And what happens is you roost there overnight and you're really not supposed to let your chickens out before dawn. And you're supposed to put them up before dusk. Um, specifically dawn because that's when all the predators like to come out. Like the coyotes and things like that. So I think that they got off of their little roosting area um, at dawn. And we're walking around and something got five of them. Um, I had nine. I had three boys and six girls. I now only have four girls left. So it sucks really bad. But I'm going to show y'all all the, what I'm assuming is all the kill spots. Hello, y'all. This is spot number one. whole bunch of feathers, as you can see. The feathers do kind of trail this way a bit. There's some here. Some all right here. So over here in the woods, uh, you can kind of see, maybe not like right here, a whole bunch of feathers right here. So that's just like right there in the woods. That's spot number two. You can see some feathers here and there's just a little bit going this way. But then you see more of like rooster type feathers, which is they got three males. But if you look right there, there's some more feathers. And you're not going to be able to see it really well. But over there, there's a whole bunch of feathers right in there. And this fence right here is what they used to sleep on. So it kind of makes perfect sense. I have some chickens in there right now. Oh so yeah, just four out of nine left, which is really unfortunate. But... They did roost on this fence like right here. You can see like where all their droppings were. So it was really just a matter of time before something happened to them. It just sucks. Um, I definitely do think it was a coyote. I know some have said maybe a raccoon. Um, I did post about it on my TikTok and some said raccoons, but I don't think it would be a raccoon because they were three full grown roosters and two hens. Um, and I don't think a raccoon would take the entire body. I think uh, it would eat it kind of right there. And in my experience, raccoons more so go for like the baby chicks or like young birds, not full grown ones. I think that the chickens were free ranging because they got down at dusk and I think that there was just a coyote waiting for them. Um, I don't think it would be a dog or a stray dog or anything because in my experience, dogs don't really eat them. They just murder for fun. So I, I think it was coyotes, probably two of them. I don't know if one could have gotten five of them that quickly, but yeah. So here are the babies. I put their water on top of this crate because they are such messy little babies. You can see them all eating right there. They are so cute. There's a bunch of little babies over there. <laughs> I'm hoping those are full-blooded barred rocks right there. Those two babies. There's some other ones uh, over there in the corner over there. Hopefully they're full-blooded -blood barred rocks and so kind of can replenish my stock. Okay. Time to collect eggs. I'm going to put them all in the same box again. See if we can easily... Oh, wow. It's a whole bunch of them. Let's get this out of there. Is there any in this one? Nope. All right, so there's those so far. It's um, two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14. Look at my beautiful little well summers. So I got a package in today from Tiny Raptor Village. So let me show y'all what it is. Eee, I'm so cute. Y'all are not ready for this. I got some hen saddles for the girls. And oh my God, these are even better in person. I mean, this detail. And they have a skirt. Oh my God. Okay, so I got the donut one. Watermelon. Star Wars, Baby Yoda or Grogu, same thing. Little chickens and dinosaurs. I am so excited. Okay, let me show y'all how they look. 
on the girls. But look, wait, first they all have these little ruffles. I am more than sure there's going to be an egg in my chimenea and I was not wrong. Why do they do this? <gasps> what is this? This is an egg. You can't have it. You can't have it, Timmy. Y'all cannot have it. Huh. Jackson. You cannot have it, bum. Braley. What are you doing, mom? It's an egg. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh my god, Jackson. Oh, he made me drop it and now he's eating it. So everybody is locked up for the next few days at least, only because since we had so many deaths the yesterday, I don't want to risk anything. So they're all going to be locked up for a few days, which they are going to hate. And I hate locking my chickens up. Um, I like free ranging them. So it does suck to have to lock them up, but that's what we have to do. But they are not happy with me. It seems so crazy not to see an extra five birds in here. And I know this is small for this many birds. Um, you're not really supposed to have this size of a run for this many birds, but they're not in this all day. So it works fine because they basically are in it for the mornings. I let them out and then they go up at night. Um, so they don't extra like it when I am lock them up because they don't have even more room. So before I let y'all go, this is a really short video, but before I let y'all go, I'm going to show y'all the mama and her babies, give y'all a little update on how they're doing. Hello, mama. Look at them. They are so cute, mama. She's gonna take them in there. She'll be like, y'all get up in here. Get away from that crazy lady. They are so cute.